Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Ryan Coleman, and uh, I'm the Economic Development Director for the City of Columbia, and I'd like to thank you all for joining us here today. Um, over the past two years, the City of Columbia has celebrated an unprecedented amount of ribbon cuttings and business openings across our city. But it's also critically important that we continue to highlight and celebrate the growth and achievements of our existing business community who continue to support local growth by giving their time, talent, and treasures to the community. It's my pleasure to welcome you all today to celebrate not only 15 years of success for local entrepreneur Jamie Scott, but to also celebrate his philanthropy and his willingness to support local charitable causes and the betterment of this community and our citizens. With that, I'd like to turn it over um, and give our speaker uh, run lineup. First up will be Mr. Jamie Scott, owner of Jamie Scott Fitness. He'll be followed by Ms. Leah Weisevic, Executive Director of Sister Care, and then at-large councilman, Mr. Tyler Bailey. With that, Jamie, you're up. First of all, I want to thank God for allowing us to have um, this opportunity to be in business for 15 years. My wife, Stacy, thank you for all your support. My parents, my mom, my dad, all of these guys here up front, I'd like to thank them for supporting me. I can't believe it's been 15 years. This thing started out as a dream and it manifested. We've touched thousands of lives and served millions and millions of people. Um, you know, throughout South Carolina and in Charlotte. We are excited to launch like our Parkinson's program. My father passed from Parkinson's um, two years ago, almost two years ago. And we are um, really focused on, you know, helping people with that disease. And also I think that'll be a tremendous um, add to the community. So I'd like to thank, thank you all for being here, Ryan. Councilman Bailey, thank you for being here as we celebrate 15 years. Good morning. My name is Leah Weisevic, and I'm the executive director of Sister Care. A Sister Care is a nonprofit located right here in the Midlands that serves uh, survivors of domestic violence and their children. Approximately 42% of South Carolina women will experience domestic violence in their lifetime. We served in 2023 over 4,000 individuals and children um, impacted by domestic violence. The work we do is so critical and so important in our community. And we couldn't do it without partners like Jamie Scott and Jamie Scott Fitness. Jamie is on our board of directors and is such an important part of our efforts to prevent domestic violence in our community. In fact, we're very excited that we are having our second annual Empower Run 5K right here at Jamie Scott Fitness on March 23rd. Uh, you can sign up online at Strictly Running, but thanks to Jamie Scott and Jamie Scott Fitness, we're able to have an, an event like this to not only raise awareness about domestic violence in our community, but to raise much needed funds that we're able to serve those 4,000 individuals and children. So thank you, Jamie, for supporting all the, the good work that we do. Um, and thank you to the City of Columbia um, and the residents of the City of Columbia for supporting our important work. Thank you. Well, first, congratulations to Jamie Scott Fitness and Jamie Scott, a dear friend and mentor of mine for 15 years. Let's give a round of applause, please. 15 years is a huge accomplishment, and we're proud of the work that Jamie Scott Fitness is doing. Not only is he doing business and doing it well, more importantly, he cares about people. He cares about this community. He's poured into so many nonprofits, and I just want to list a few that Jamie Scott Fitness has, has uh, invested into. Palmetto Health Foundation, Sister Care, Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, Girls on the Run of Columbia, Make-A-Wish Foundation, and Rougher Care, and there's plenty more. Jamie Scott and I first met back when he was my football coach. And I'm gonna take a matter of personal privilege that um, one of my memorable moments and show you how he cares about people, he really worked so hard with all the players. And we were playing Porto Gaud in, in the playoffs my junior year. I was playing free safety. At one job is not to let somebody catch a touchdown on us. And I let this guy catch a pass. It was a deep ball. And I remember Jamie saying to me, come on, Tyler, how can you do that? I'm disappointed in you. 
And it really messed with me because he was disappointed in me because he cared so much about his players. He cares about everybody he trains here. He cares about this community, and I think his work has shown that. So we're proud of the work that Jamie Scott Fit Fitness has done, and I look forward to the next 15 to 25 years to see just how much bigger of an impact they're going to continue to make. Thank you. Real quick, um, so last year, the first year that we did, um, had our charity run, we had 150 people. Um, the second year, we had um, 350 people. And this year, we're looking to have 500 runners and walkers like at this race. So if you guys, you guys that are here, I wanna charge you personally to each get at least five people to sign up because it's for a good cause. Um, the funds go straight to Sister Care and let's raise awareness about um, domestic violence. So thank you guys for being here. And with that, I would like to close. One final item before we close out. City Council will be presenting a proclamation to Jamie Scott today to recognize and highlight uh, his longevity in the business community and um, his charitable and philanthropic work. Uh, that'll be at 4 o'clock at City Hall at 1737 Main Street. And certainly everyone that attends is invited uh, to uh, come join us as we recognize Mr. Scott. Thank you.